So you know what's funny? EA Sports claims they try to fix things. And I made a joke about them earlier saying how they are saying they are potentially fixing the biggest glitch possible in franchise mode. And how they said, you know, they're potentially trying to when they're a multi-billion dollar company. And if they can't, with all their billions of dollars, find a developer to actually do the job correctly, actually fix problems in their game. Like, this is ridiculous. This is now, what? eight nine years this is past beyond this is past just you know not caring this is past just they can't figure things out this is just negligence in all honesty it's absolutely a joke but today they put out a title update and yes they went ahead and fixed the rpo read flat wheel well they claimed they fixed it obviously no they did not fix it just like EA Sports always does. So right here, Sib, uh, Mr. Sib posted this on Twitter. But pretty much this is exactly what the play is. Now, if we go ahead and play this play, if you call the play, you automatically get a false start penalty. So if you go ahead and you call this play, once you try to hike it, it's automatically a penalty every single time. So instead of taking the play out of the game instead of maybe fixing the play their quick our attempt to potentially fix something that's broken in our game is to give you a false start penalty every single time you try to hike the ball it's like you can't even make this up you really can't even make this up and shout out to Mr. Sid for posting this because it is absolutely a joke. So again, you hike the ball, there's automatically a penalty. Now I understand, you know, it's a cheesy play, right? At the end of the day, it's a cheesy play. Anybody could run, obviously. I have not ran it personally, but everyone can run it if they want to. And it really glitches out the defense. Now, is it unstoppable? No. Based on what I understand, based on what people have told me, it is not unstoppable and you can stop it. It's hard. It's difficult. You're going to have to use her on it to beat it, but it's not unstoppable. So it's not like it's a play that really does break the game, but it's definitely one of those things where it's like, it's a gray area. At the end of the day, you look at it and you're like, okay, come on, man. You're going to really run that. That's some cheese right there. That's some cheese. But it's not technically breaking the game. It's not technically cheating. So, again, like I said, I put it in the gray area category where I'm like, it's, it's kind of like, okay, yes, you can run that, but it is a cheesy play. But that's how this game is made. And this is what's so funny, right? Is, I see this all the time, and I do it myself, you know, I'm not trying to be hypocritical here. I get mad at people for running cheesy plays. But at the end of the day, it's like, it's in the video game, you know? EA Sports claims, oh, we're going to fix this, this, and this. The facts of the matter is they have enough experience, enough money, enough developers that none of this stuff should be in the video game if it's not supposed to be. I think what happens is they realize that these cheesy plays a lot of times will get people to want to play the game more and want to spend money. And what happens is because these are so easy to do and so easy to learn about on YouTube that people will watch them, play them, use them. And then, bam, they'll go ahead and patch them. And it's their way of saying, we're, we're fixing something. It's almost like they put this in the game just so that they can fix this and not fix other things. And that's what I'm starting to realize and think about EA Sports. Guys, segue to our sponsor. Manscaped. It's the holiday season. You can be taking pictures that are probably going to last you for the rest of your life. Maybe Christmas cards, Thanksgiving, Christmas, you name it. Manscaped has you covered. They have an amazing product called the Weed Whacker that gets your nose hairs and your ear hairs. They also have the Lawn Mower that actually goes ahead and shaves your downstairs area. Waterproof so you can use it in the shower and LED light. And you can also shave your face, make sure you look good there. And they also sell deodorant. And finally, Crop Reviver 
and preserver for your downstairs area to make sure you smell good. You can use code GAMERS, that's G-A-M-E-R-S, at checkout for 20% off. So again, it's just, it's just hilarious. This is really just honestly hilarious that this is the quick fix to fixing Madden, which again is a joke. I'm just, I'm, I'm baffled. I'm really honestly baffled. Listen, right? And I'm just going to say this right now. Madden in the old times, Madden 11, Madden 12, Madden 10, 11, 12, was about skill. It really was. It was about absolute skill. Whoever the best Madden player is would win. And I'm not a great Madden player by any stretch of imagination. I'm not sitting here trying to say, oh, I'm a great Madden player. I'm a good Madden player. I'm not. Okay? I'm average at best, I would say. But... You have the guys who are amazing, TD uh, Barrett, yeah, Barrett, who are absolutely amazing at this game. And then you got cheesy plays that puts a lot of other people who aren't really that good at this game in the same competition level as like T TD here, right? It's funny because it keeps the guys who aren't good at the game playing the game though. Because if you had the skill level gap, and this year actually did a lot better than previous years when it came to skill levels. I will say EA Sports did do a lot of fixes with gameplays. But if you keep the same level of, you know, this guy at the top of the list here is the best, and this guy's the bottom of the list, and he's bad, unless he practices, learns defenses, learns schemes, learn all this kind of stuff, make reads, um, learn how the guy shades on man coverage, whether shade outside or inside, unless you learn all all of that, then you're going to stay at the bottom. Well, now you add in some cheesy plays and some plays that glitch the defense. Now you slowly move that person up. People make YouTube videos on it, which I'm not, you know, obviously I'm not saying anything bad about people make YouTube videos on it. Listen, at the end of the day, you know, that's what keeps this game pretty much being bought every year is because cheesy plays happen and can be called and people make videos on them and they cover them so that, you know, the community can play this game and have fun doing that. Again, it's just how this game works, right? So you take someone who's here and you move them up to here. And that's my, not, not myself included, but there are plays I call that I do consider cheesy based on what I'm saying. Not really anyone else calls them cheesy, but I call them cheesy because I think some of the plays I call, they don't glitch the defense, but they do beat a lot of cover three beaters. So I, you know, I put myself from here by average, a little bit above average when I call those plays. The Bucks playbook is a great example of that. So again, this is not a shot at anyone who does go ahead and call these plays. Obviously, if you do, you know, it's a part of the game. It's not like it's something where you're like breaking the game or you're just a cheater. It's just EA Sports needs to actually fix this stuff. Whether it is fix the game completely and take out all these plays, or it's just figure something out. You're a multi-billion dollar company. This is the same old rinse and repeat issues that has been happening nonstop every single second. It's a joke. It's honestly a joke at this point. And you know what? It's not a funny joke. It's really not a funny joke. If this was a thing that was been going on for a year or two, I'd say, you know what, EA, come on, man. You got you to gotta get, get down and fix it. You got the developers. But this is a problem that's been going on now for pretty much since Madden 15. I mean, you have what? Madden 13 was the aggressive catch cheese. You could actually run out of, you could run out of the field of play, couldn't see from the camera angle, and get a free tutty every single time. Madden 13, Madden 15, you had pro oh, Madden 25 was actually pretty decent. I didn't have a problem with 25. 15 um, was pretty decent too. 16 was the aggressive catch cheese with the Odell Beckham. 17 was also a little bit more of the aggressive catch cheese, but not as much as 16. Still pretty bad. 17 was okay. 18 was uh, you know, decent. 19 was a mess. 20 mess. 21, 22. Same concept. So again, like I said, hopefully, you know, EA is not going to fix it, but hopefully, you know, this video did help you out. If you're wondering about this play and you are about to call this play, I'm going to save you a free five yards not calling this play. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.